derivative, I'm doing limit. h goes to 0. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So I have limit. h goes to 0. x plus h cubed plus 5. There's my f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now, if you don't remember what x plus h cubed is, go off to the side and do x plus h times x plus h times x plus h. I, however, remember Pascal's triangle, and my coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. So I can go straight to it. Limit h goes to 0. x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed. Plus 5 minus x cubed minus 5 all over h. Yeah. Is that an, like an accepted jump in your steps? If you know Pascal's triangle, absolutely. I expect you at this point to know it. Yeah, but if you don't, you can go off the side. Cancel those x cubes. Cancel those 5s. Now what? Pull on h. Pull on h. So the 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared, all over h. Cancel, cancel. Now take the limit. h is going to 0, so so are these. I'm left with 3x squared. But now we're going to use proper notation. Let's see. I was given f of x, so I'm going to say f prime of x is equal to 3x squared. I could have said df dx equals 3x squared. Exact same thing. Okay. Or I could have said d dx f of x is 3x squared. All mean the same thing. But usually for shorthand, in this case, when it's just straight up asking for derivative, we just go straight to f prime. But the key thing is, that's a function. That's a parabola, correct? Its value is changing depending on where we look. It is a function of itself. So derivative is an actual function. Yeah? We're not actually doing anything new yet. Just giving it a new name, a new notation. Do another.